Next, consider what happens when a system that's initially at equilibrium is stressed by some change in condition. Consider two cases. First, how the change leads to a change in the equilibrium constant, for example, by changing temperature. Or second, how a change in the composition of the system, for example, in the concentration of one of the active partners in the, in the equilibrium is changed. The goal here is to develop a qualitative intuition for how the system responds to that stress, a response that ca that's captured in Le Chatelier's principle. And Le Chatelier's principle, in a sense, is a real keeper. It's useful in so many broad contexts that you want to be sure that you have that intuitive understanding, that it's almost second nature.